What's up guys? Thanks for tuning in. I'm out here at a pond today that's got some really good bass in it. I'm excited. We're going to be doing a mystery tackle box slam, which means I'm only using whatever's in this box. These boxes come to your door once a month. I got this one this month and I'm going to be fishing this pond with it. I only brought one rod today nothing tied on i'm only going to use whatever's in this box it's going to be a make it or break it situation but i like doing this because it forces you to use baits you've never used before get out of your comfort zone learn new things so we got a pond here that's a little shallow grass around the edges it's got some little trees and and limbs laying in the water and it's got a couple different types of grass and then it gets a little deeper in the drop off so i'm gonna try to fish around the edge of this pond here see if we can find a few big bass but i'm excited let's open up the box here see what we got inside the box let's see first thing we got in the box some mustad wide gap hooks that's good if there's any soft plastics i can rig them on this next up in the box we got this savage gear plopper style bait looks like a little shad that's pretty good around the grass edges. Ooh, a mid diving range crankbait. Looks like a shad. The Castaic Loco 10. I love the look of this little crankbait. Great color, awesome. We got a nice little white and chartreuse cream spinner bait. Okay, a Lunker Hunt square bill. It's a decent looking square bill. And some Exo Pods by Biospawn. Those look pretty good. They're kind of like an Okeechobee crawl color, black and blue with some green pumpkin. And then some Excite Baits green pumpkin crawls. So that's what I got to work with, guys. That is what came in my mystery tackle box. So I think I'm going to start out by tying on that little Savage Gear plopper style bait, go for some topwater fish. It's overcast. It's been sprinkling off and on today, so they could be hitting top water. We're gonna try it around the grass edges, and if I don't catch any, I'm gonna end up switching, or if they shut off on this guy, I'm gonna end up switching, probably tying on one of those crankbaits, throwing it out here in a little deeper water, and seeing if we get any that way. In the hot summertime, sometimes these fish go a little deeper, and then we might switch it up to a spinnerbait, go with some soft plastics. But that's the game plan looking what's in the box. So I'm gonna go ahead and tie this guy on, see if we can get some on top water. Let's go. So, like I said, I'm gonna be tying on the Savage Gear Smash Tail Minnow is what it's called. It looks like a whopper plopper kinda. And I love throwing a whopper plopper. So, there's a few different style baits out like this. You got the Chopo by Berkeley. But I've never seen one that, that's got like the sexy shed color and it's also got a little plastic thing on the end of the bait here fish can't throw it as easy so you know they throw top water baits so that's a plus now it's tied on we're gonna use a polymer knot and we're gonna get to chucking okay what's also cool is this little tail that flops around has a weight in it interesting see what kind of difference that makes because if I've never fished one of these it's got a weight in it gonna go nice and slow it's got a good plop to it so that's nice caught some grass caught some grass that's gonna happen when you're fishing top waters in a grassy pond that have treble hooks but it's okay just cast in the open areas you're gonna have to pick some grass off that's expected going to kind of work my way around the pond for a minute with this top water casting all over you want to try to target the areas that have grass so I'm casting out there's some grass little humps out there and around the edges of your pond are gonna be your best bets oh there's one wow finally I've been fishing this top water for I don't know five minutes or so probably 20 casts I hadn't got a bite yet and finally just caught a little one not bad not a big one by any means but a little 14 incher decent little guy they're all fun on top water he just kind of sucked it in though they're not too active on top water today yet Let's see buddy there he goes 
All right. See if we can get us another one here on top water. It's a couple different retrieves you can do with this bait. You can either give it a straight reel or you can give it a jerk and pause. Let it sit there. I was just kind of slow reeling it when that one hit. Something just bust way over here. See if we can catch it. They don't seem to be too aggressive on top water with this plopper so i'm gonna take it off i'm gonna try putting on this castaic loco 10 crankbait that's a good looking medium diver crankbait i wish i was at lake gunnersville this thing would kill but i think it's gonna work well in this pond too so I'm gonna cast it out in a little bit deeper water here over the grass line i'm just gonna give it a slow retrieve it looks pretty good When I get next to the grass, I'm going to pick it back up over the grass. Probably going to have to pull off some from the edges, but hot summer day, even though it's windy and overcast, if they'll be sitting out there suspending sometimes in that deeper water in late summer here until they start really feeding late at night or early morning. Oh, there we go. He smoked it, guys. Right out in front of this brush. Oh, that's a good one. Oh, stay on, stay on. Come here, buddy. Yes. Hoo hoo, look at that one, guys. That's a decent bass there. A lot bigger than that first one. We'll take him. Sweet. Okay, decent one right here. Probably close to three pounds on that Loco 10. Big old head on him. He's kind of skinny. Late summertime bass. They're about to start gorging up on some shad. Gonna get a release on him. You always want to toss them over the weeds there so they don't get stuck get a nice release on them we're gonna cast that crankbait out see if any more want to eat right here kind of throwing it in the deepest corner of this pond just because it's a little bit deeper i don't know eight to ten foot diver probably and right out here in front of these little trees that are down he ate it i'm gonna try a few more casts see if we can get another one to eat this thing and then probably gonna tie on a little soft plastic because it's kind of slow today the sun's starting to peek itself out and they're not oh ah, had a bite back to back bites i was saying the sun's starting to peek itself out might be a little slower day fish might be a little lethargic right now try soft plastic there he is okay there's a little guy messing with me just a little guy that's probably why i missed him a couple times there's probably a few little ones down there chasing it huh not bad loco 10 but i think i'm gonna switch it up now and try the soft plastic let's see here i'm gonna try throwing this exo pod and it came with some wide gap hooks so i'm gonna throw a weightless I'm gonna let it sink to the bottom probably and slowly drag it. And these little flappers will look like a little bait fish or crawdad crawling along the bottom. And tie it on with these wide gap mustad hooks. See if that'll catch us a few. I hope so. Another way to fish this bait is just a little top water. You just reel it on top, let those legs kick, move some water, fish it kind of like a rivet frog couple different ways you can throw this thing but I think dragging it is gonna be our best option since we already tried top water today we did catch one but it was slow oh one just picked it up oh yeah there we go that's a little heavier fish on the soft plastic yeah there we go that's a good one right there Woo. all right Ooh, not quite as that big one I caught on that crankbait, the Castaic Loco 10, but pretty good one there on that biospawn plastic. Awesome. They're just being a little lethargic today. See ya. Just gotta go a little slower for them. That's all. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Had fun, caught some good fish in this pond. I hope you enjoyed and learned a little something. Again, I like doing these mystery tackle box challenges because it gets you out of your comfort zone. And you learn new baits, 
I caught more fish than I would have if I had just came out here with the top water. I probably only would have caught maybe a couple. I fished it for a little while, only caught one. If I'd have just came out with a soft plastic, I might have only caught a couple. If I'd have just came out with a crankbait, I might have only caught a couple. But because I brought multiple lures, new lures, I got an MTB. I haven't even used that crankbait before or that top water brand and or the Exo Papa Biospawn. I hadn't used any of those and they all catch fish guys. So that was cool. Fun learning some new baits. I like the action on them. I get to test them out, add them in my arsenal, in my pond box and, and even in my boat in situations where I think they would shine because now I know how they act in the water and uh, caught, caught some good fish today. I hope you enjoyed this episode. Make sure you subscribe for more videos. We're gonna get out of here. We'll catch you guys next time.